Viva, 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 la viva, 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 la viva, 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 let me at this time say good afternoon to everyone that have come to All right, so let me welcome see this if it just program, us. the official launching of the Anthem Corruption Campaign, us. launch on today's day, the 19th day of, of July, Asma Street, 2023, at the Central Bodistan. Monrovia. So, right on our platform, we have the standard of the People's, the Labyrinth Church, People Party, the President of Councilor Kewonse, Bongo, also on our platform, we have the vast number uh, of the Liberian People Party, in person of uh, Dr. Emmanuel Yapaolo Green. Let me also welcome the... Program has just started. Let me also recognize the chairman of the Liberian People Party, in person of Chairman Yanko Zizi. Let me also use this video to welcome the incoming first leader of the Liberian People Party, Mrs. Gongo. Let me also use this video to welcome the... The campaign chair of the Nabes Group Party, in person of Dr. Chipley. Let me recognize so this thanks cute, for joining us. The, thanks for media following. Share the night. The press, invite that someone to watch. Invite here today. Monday springs over. Let me also use this medium to recognize Josh Shepard, the head of the representative of the Nabes Let me in extension recognize the Foundation of Better Liberia for Girls located at Banabe Junction. They should have been here or the in station. Let me recognize the member and maintenance of the Vanguard Simplification Party, the Telefest, the Oshim Heller by Chairman Hega Sinko and Debbie Queen, co chair for governmental affairs. Let me also at this time recognize, let me also recognize the candidates, the candidates of the Labrador People Party. Battle advice coming soon, the way. Send you all. Send you 
Young people revolution, say yo. Say yo. Operation Kobako also, say yo. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, basically and firstly, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you for being here. I also want to use this opportunity to say thank you to the ordinary masses of the Liberian people for turning out today in commemorating with us to launch officially what we believe as an institution that will provide every drastic and revolutionary method to eradicate corruption within our society. The Liberian Anti-Corruption Commission of Campinas is officially being launched today with a clear message that is to recruit, mobilize, and organize the grassroots young people of this country in making sure that corruption is eradicated and impunity is brought to an end. This organization is headed by a, an injected firebrand gorilla intellectual. If you will want to compare the intellectual calories of this madame, you will be comparing people like Mama Winnie Mandela of South Africa. If you will want to compare the courage and the revolutionary tenacity of this individual, you could compare her to people like Wosapa. If you will want to compare the revolutionary tenacity and the ability to organize, mobilize the masses of these people to introduce a new Liberia. You will reference her as Beatrice Duncan Papita, a revolutionary icon that brought progressive liberation to Congo. This individual that is leading this movement is a very young person that is spending in making sure that she recruit or we recruit every young people in this country at the power and introduce political consciousness. Today, our country is vulnerable to corrupt individuals who are perpetrating and pornographing influence and openness at the detriment of the Liberian people. This madam that we are about to introduce on this stage today will be the front runner will be the general that will lead men and women, young courageous people in this country to end corruption once and for all. This movement that is to be launched today when you receive the chairperson that will get the position statement of this movement will be the umbrella for the next generation of a revolutionary Liberia. So on this backdrop, I would love to reduce my height to a minimum decimal for a Tanitari to Kinikiri to introduce all to this version. Come a law, come a leader, come a cartridge, come a mentor, come a teacher, come a Jessica Indian Morris, who is the fire brand young leader and living at Biblia to a corrupt free society. Come here, cheer you are welcome. Anti-corruption campaigners, Congo Town, Monrovia, Liberia. The anti-corruption campaigners with support of the Liberian people make commitments to lead a strong fight against the systemic corruption in the culture of impunity in Liberia. As corruption with impunity has been the hindrance to development in Liberia. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, silver society organizations, street vendors, petty traders, bike and tricycle riders, Yana boys, market women, the partial students community, solidarity forces, fellow Liberians. The anti corruption campaigners are motivated by your support and courage to join the fight against corruption and impunity in the Liberian society. During the commemoration of the Liberia's 200 years of existence, the first former 
Queen Mio U.S. Ambassador to Liberia, Madam Linda Thomas Greenfield, was hosted by the Wilson Center in the United States on a talk show. During her delivery, she mentioned that corruption is a major problem in Liberia. And it's a, democrat it's a democratic killer because it takes fuel from the mouth of children in Liberia, steals their future, deprives Liberians the right to quality health care and education, and poor business environment. All these things deny Liberia her place in history. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow Liberians, with all the hardship we have experienced and are still experiencing due, due to corruption, it's time we take action to eliminate corruption from our society. We have taken the first step to launch this campaign, but we still have a lot more to do because the fight doesn't end here. We will take the second step by petitioning the United States to provide evidence against the alleged corrupt officials that were sanctioned. Prince Johnson, Bonnie Sherman, Natalia McGill, Joe Prairie, and others. The prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer. The prayer, the prayer. Revolution starts today, the prayer. The prayer. No. We take it into court, tell you. Tell you. No. These people need to be investigated and if found guilty, fears the full force of the law. We, through the 10 pillar agenda with the support of all Liberians, will set up structures that will help tackle the issue of corruption from every angle. One people, clean system, better Liberia. Richmond G. Tan, the second Secretary General of the Anti Corruption Campaigners, approved Jessica Inja Morris, Chairperson of the Anti Corruption Campaigners. Thank you so much. The Discussion, discussion, corruption, depression, nepotism, fact you go to the doorstep one by one, say back to you. Tell you, no corruption, steam, I will go and only say tell you. Amanda, okay, music for, we call on a music for interview. Music for Mandre. Music for Mandre.
the time is now. There's no other way to fight for demonstrate our commitment. You will have an authority to make a solemn decision as to whether to confirm to the international community as to whether you are happy with the appalling living conditions of our people. In conclusion, the civil ladies and gentlemen, I am a victim of poverty. I grew up in the plantation of Firestone. My rights were abused. Like many of you, I struggle to go to school. And I see in the faces of our brothers and sisters who cannot live on less than that or a day. I don't know what has happened to this country, which we abandoned mineral resources. But the people are living in abject poverty. and observing and still watching why your brothers and sisters are slaughtered with knives of corruption. We say to you tonight, this evening, wherever you are, in Liberia and across the globe, to now come to the platform. Take a stand. We are saying to you today and now, the fight against corruption in this country is not just to protest or hold the bones. It must be a demonstration of your commitment. And that's why, after many years being in prison, physically and psychologically tortured, in defense of the most marginalized groups of people in society, fighting corruption in the communities in academic institutions, we have returned to this country to join one of Liberia's iconic legal luminary to fight corruption, to take the fight against corruption to the doors of economic vampires. Yeah. Let me say this for you. Corruption has become a vampire. In simple English, corruption has taken a step from being a spirit to an animal that we cannot kill. But with collective minds, we can fight. i leave you with this closing remark. There's no way a red deer will go into a church to worship where the lion is the bishop. We are saying to you, some of you who are professing to fight against corruption, you sit and dine with the oligarchy that is involved in systemic corruption, looting state resources, and working with impunity. Now is the time to fight collectively and I want to be very grateful to Councilor Say Kewan Gombo and the organizers of this program for leading the fight against corruption. Long live the multiple revolution. Long live the fight against corruption. Long live the Republic of Liberia. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you. Through the 
years ago, we saw people going to tell people who denied an opportunity, thank you. But you are choosing to fight on behalf of the very people who have been denied, who do not know their leaders. We want to say to the poor Nalaya, Narimo stand with you. We know our leaders, we know who have been fighting for us. We know who went to court when they arrested us, fighting regimes that suppressed us. He was the one that was there. We will never forget that. And we owe you, we owe you, every young person owe you, and we will pay that debt back. Come October. Thank you. We also want to use this time to recognize the Foundation for Better Liberia of Obel. The Foundation for Better Liberia. No representation. We want to use this time to recognize the Federation of Liberia's youth. FLA, no representation. We want to use this time to recognize the Liberia National Students Union. No representation. We want to use this time to recognize the Progressive Action Fund. The Progressive Action Fund. No representation. We want to use this time to recognize the Progressive Student Alliance. Okay, for our final special remark, we love to use this time to welcome the person in whom anti-corruption Scorpino will use as a podium of giving justice to the Liberian people when we shall have taken us begin to take our legal argument against corrupt people for a very free Liberia and a princess that impresses us the standard bearer of the Liberian people's party in Council of Tiawonsei Congo for such a statement of remark.
Is coming from the entire program is disrupted here. I don't know the entire program is disrupted. The entire program is disrupted. I don't know where. Soup. So the stone 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 crew is still going on. I don't know what's going on here. Of course, uh, the entire program is disrupted. The entire program is disrupted. And you do not know where the students are coming from. But the entire program here is disrupted. And of course, people are running, hair scatter. And you do not know what's going on. Okay. I don't know what is that. So we're here on Asma Street. The program is disrupted. But I'm saying one of the supporters of Soup. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Be very, very careful. But I don't know which direction this team will come from. Try to see what's happening there. Oh, <laughs> 
For one minute, how are you doing? Welcome to Focus on the Broadway Television. Were you up at Small Street? My brother, mm -hmm. everybody has been sent by the CDC. How, do, how will you say that? Oh. Because they are, wear, they, are wearing, they are wearing soup medicine yeah. jacket. So, so that part is, that part is okay, so what happened up there? Soup what did you see there? So, if I see that you get a whole rack okay. in the fire place. So, uh, uh, they are controlled by the government or Liberia. I saw two. They are the only, they are the same people that are choking you back. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Why did you have a lot of being a part of the government? Yeah, one to year, bro. Long All right, so let's just stop right I beg you. I just want to know. Okay, can I talk to you? Yeah. So tell me, I saw you at the program site, and I saw stone throwing from left and right. Tell me, what, what happened there? What went on wrong? I saw Councilor Chewan Gomro escaping, and everybody running heter scatter. What went on wrong? I was asking, uh, tell us what went wrong. I saw Councillor Tewan Gonglo and others who have come to Greece to the occasion running head and scatter, and I saw stone thrown from left and right. Hey, uh, What's your perspective about that? Uh, thank you very much. I don't talk so long. Well, first of all, my name is Afra Focus. We are never pleased for the coordinator for the team. Number 14, the districts, the district. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 those that were interested in the members of LPP gathered at the Centurion Pavilion, opposite the Centurion uh, Pavilion on Ashmore Street. All speeches were given. The various invitees gave their speech. Our standard bearer, Taiwan, said, Congo, LPP was invited on the podium to give the speech. To the Liberian people. A group of people came around, yeah. called themselves soup. Called themselves soup. One of our comrades measured and introduced them, but measured one of the comrades said that he was the governor for mission for them. They got, all of them got angry. They were in 10 or 11 in numbers, if I'm not mistaken. When we called in, I said, no, that man is not a leader. So it's an institution. So I said, yes, we all went to school and we all went at the university. We know. But the man retired the statement and said, student community, you are welcome. From there, they grouped themselves, they went down the road. They went there, I saw them going. They went there after all the speeches, 
the fourth time around with fast speeding, the same group, they said they keep on soup. They start choking and even said it before the before time around, even because they said they will stone their place here and so they're going to talk. And that girl that we brought here, mm. she was one of those. Okay, so say you heard something like that. Why couldn't you just alert the police that oh we're having our program here, but there are a group of people here and they are threatening to you know to disrupt the program? Why couldn't you invite the no. police earlier on? Thank you very much. You know, we can't end down, mm -hmm. so they said no problem. No problem, and there was no police was, was around. No. So we don't want to violent, so we can't say, gentlemen, what happened? Fine girl, you will forget what he did, man, he, he, he got a statement for you. So how do you, how do you describe what went on a few minutes ago? My cell was there, I saw the stone flying from left and right, Councillor Gongolo had to escape and others. How do you describe that action? For me, mm. for me, I feel they were a pay agent. From whom? For any other political parties. Why you think because so? We all, because we are opposition. And you don't want to see anything good from your friend. For me. Sir, so how, I think of. how did you identify those guys that they are from Sioux? They said they, they are from Sioux and they identified girl who brought her here. She was, she was part of them. She was so in anger. I thought I said, fang it. And not only you and you go to school, we did, all went to university. Did they say it verbally that they are from Sioux? That's what she said. And all of them said it. She was not a part of the all of them said they said they're from soup. So I even told her, I said, we all went to the, the University of Liberia. Did you see them with their militant uh, leader? One of them showed their shirt and said, hey, see here, I'm from soup. I saw the shirt. So okay. would, would, there any, would there be any action from your parties? No. We want to take action. We could rush on again and beat up massively. You, 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 I was feeling very easy because cancel me. But since you say uh, those guys were from Sukkot, how come that she was the only one who got caught? All of us escaped, you know that lady. Even if we caught the stool for her, no, she, was, she was escaping her side with her people left. And some of our members just. So will this, will this program continue another time? Really? I don't really know. I will not hear any information from my external bearer. Maybe we then will continue. So Thank how you. do you describe this scene currently? I said it earlier. I said for me, there's a pay agents that, that just to disrupt our 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 our, 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 our campaign. You think they were paid? Yeah. Pay for me. Who, I said for me. Oh, for you. you yeah. Think they were paid. Yeah. Pay I said for any other political party. Your name again, sir. Alfred Q. Purpose. Okay, and you're a member of the... Members of the LPP coordinators of this one. Okay. okay, thank you for speaking to us. All right, folks, we are right here at the Slipway Police Station, Police Depot. I think that's the right name for it. We were up Asimov Street, and then we saw disruption of the Tewa Gungulu's party. I'm one of the kind of the name, uh, anti-corruption campaign. There was campaign against corruption. Uh, we saw a group of people uh, dressed in jacket belonging to the U.S. Uh, UL-based student unification party. I saw it. They begin to throw stones from left and right. That's how the program got disrupted. And we follow to come here. One of the persons among them was picked up by uh, members of the party and they tried to bring her to the police uh, so that the police can ask questions. But we still talking to people who were in the, part, the program and one gentleman is before me. Welcome to Focus on Liberia. How are you doing? Uh, thank you. What's, so what's your name, man? Eh? My name is. You were at the program. I saw you there. Yes. So tell me what went on wrong. I saw you running too. Okay, then. we went at the program. We fought. When the first day the Hulu Bali started, there was a group of countries of somebody that I can remember. I can remember the student investigation party. Mm -hmm. But little girl realized that uh, noise and misery were happening on the other side. And I'm directly working with Councilor Tawan Gongo. You understand? A member of the Liberian School Party and the youth in the National Party of Niger. When we first decided everything, we got to realize that when we were chanting a battle cry from Freeport to Central Moravia, when we got to get that call, chair for the anti corruption and the vassal say, this is an anti corruption program, it's a non political something, so we should avoid chanting a battle cry based on Council of Tawan Congo. In fact, the panel of Council of Tawan Congo should be shut down. All of the issues there, she's the chair, it's a pushar or everything, so let's drop it down. And I volunteer for the Labrador School Party. I, I volunteer for the Labrador School Party. Take a big water. Take a big water. What is a bit in the water? In fact, I took a big of water. I went to where the guys were assembled. 
Those are referred and said, I was fleeing the vacation party. Did you see someone in, in jacket? You saw, saw them in jacket? Someone. In jacket? I saw someone in. In jacket? I saw someone in. No, what I'm asking, someone. were they wearing? The first time that in fact they stood in the vacation party, so uh, members are here. I know them. Okay. A member of the World Center for the Change of Intellectual Opinion CEO. I tell them they can appear there, I know them. Okay. They will know those that are So what happened up there? Just to, <laughs> just, what happened up there? Okay. Just to, uh, I was like just a bit in the water, mm -hmm. and when I went down where the sack of water was there, to pick it all and cast out the ginger beetle, because I gave one sack to them. I decided to bring the sack because I want to give a pair to them. All of a sudden, I saw a group coming again. Do you understand? As a member of the Baroka in Belgium, you got to stop. I received a slap on a new person. They slap you? I received a slap on a new person. In your ear? In my ear. Now the sack of water, in your, the sack of water slept for me. And I knew a direction. Now one of my comrades came call me and said, you have to take off this movie. What you were worrying because you were identified for free poor, in fact, to the second of Abdelham. So you have to take away the mafia for you. The person who slapped you didn't see the person. I never identified because they slapped him from the, the backside when I tried to shoot up. These guys are coming to my stand up there. And when I received the slap, I started seeing a school throwing for other side. So I ran to him. I shouted, Daddy, Daddy, you have to go. You have to go. Yeah, the had a security came around. We all tried with the chain and he got in the car. Uh -huh. In fact, I saw okay coming. When I see the rest one, because the king went down water sideway mm -hmm. or step there. Mm -hmm. Because we gotta realize that these guys that were saving, their name was I think on the platform to be recognized as the final thing in the vacation party to participate on the program. Because if I don't believe that something we're fighting against corruption, we almost seen the message in Liberia, we've seen the capital of the international community and all other people that in fact they are against corruption. Corruption is taking the food from the mouth of the Liberian people. So that is the reason we try to invite them. You didn't invite but them officially? We, we, we invited them. Okay. We invited them. But then I will say to you, we guys came with the same dress, so they came from down, coming from up. Do you understand? But well, I can tell you the group split. The group that was coming from down, coming with the force, and one of them I received the slap from. And then on now, and all group came up to react to it, so I told you Do you understand? Okay. I, 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 saw, I saw you running here with one, 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 one a girl, a lady. I'm how, how did you? I'm a member of the Liberian Sport Party and I know the ideology of my stand up era. I know the, the role he has played in the body politics in Liberia and in the interest of Liberia. He has been one of the persons that is big force in the country and when he comes to, you know, this problem, he never found it. And people trust too and he always say there is no risk he said to take for Liberia. Even when the politics are my brother, my wife, and I'm the the father. We should bring the victim to the Labrua National Police. And, you, and, and you, you, you are one of those who are acting that nobody beat on hold. I like was like police. shut it because I understand that the folk Esther were around to carry the news. But we always understand we'll be a political power. But we we'll were what carry the news in other way to fight the fight is a female. Now that you brought her here, what do you want to hear from the police? That what do you want to hear? Because all the owners say that the Labrua National Police, the Labrua National Police, the Labrua National Police are that of the Labrua people there. Okay. And we are get free and fair justice to all our barriers. Okay. It wasn't all that happened here. Because we I'm not saying that the group over there, people that brought her back there, she was now a member of those that were reacting negatively to the program. Thank you. But then, she was a member of like, uh, uh, all the Vangas Train, the Vegas number, the Nabor National Police, where you first get to know. Thank you, your name again. Uh, Casey SS Luke, a member of the country of the Labor Principal Party, many things. Thank you so much. My name is Prince Moba. Thank you. We're trying to find out what we can see, Councillor Gongola himself, so we can talk to him. But this is where we are. We are at the slipway. This is the slipway devil, right? Uh, down, down where you're going uh, across. And of course, the lady was brought here. She was given to the police. We will be fun following up to see what will come out of that. But thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. This is how we go off. Do join us another time for another live broadcast. We are here in Central Monrovia, Liberia. Bye bye. My name is Prince Moba. Well, I'm out.